today uh, we're doing a drive-through video for Jennings Mill, which is kind of a mixed area. You have commercial in the front, which is where we currently are. You have a golf course uh, here, and then you have a large residential homes area. And there's quite a varying amount of uh, residential homes. So right now we are on Merriweather Drive, and Merriweather Drive is kind of the main thoroughfare. It's going to start from the beginning and cut all the way through. So we are leaving the commercial district of Jennings Mill and heading up to the golf course and uh, probably be a little longer video because of the size of the neighborhood. But what I'm gonna try to do is uh, drive you by the golf course and then show you a few of the residential homes. Now, um, what you're staring at straight ahead is sort of another unique thing. Those are condos in that th uh, three level building. So if you're looking for a one level condo, even Jennings Mill uh, uh, here in Oconee County can can offer that but primarily what people like about this neighborhood are the residential homes so as we turn right here this is where you approach the golf course which is sort of in the middle of the subdivision or the middle front and Jenny's Mill Country Club was designed oh 30 40 years ago however most of the residential homes were built I would say 90s to early 2000s but the golf course filled a big need at the time you really only had a small amount of options for golf in the Athens area the primary option being the Athens Country Club. Now, not to say anything derogatory about the Athens Country Club, it is probably one of the nicest courses around, uh, Donald Ross designed, but there was nowhere to live on site at the Athens Country Club, and it's quite frankly a little more costly to join. The Jenny's Mill Country Club is semi-private, so you can have a membership, but it's also open to the public. And I'm a golfer, so I have some experience on golf courses, and I will definitely tell you that Jennings Mill is a great course. Uh, it's a fair course. It's not too hard, but it is challenging. And um, they've recently done some work over the last four years. The greens really stay in great shape. It's a great option if you like golf and you're moving to the Athens area. There's the clubhouse. This overlooks a brief look at the driving range and a couple of the, the first and 10th tee. And as we look back around this cul-de-sac, you will see uh, the fountain going. And that is number nine, which is a par five over the water. So the golf course is uh, definitely, no matter where you live in Athens, if you're a golfer, it's somewhere you're probably gonna play golf. But what this provided was the Athens area did not have other neighborhoods that were a golf course residential neighborhood. So whether you're a golfer or not, there is obviously an appeal for real estate value to be close and located on a golf course. And this was really well thought out for a couple of reasons. One, they did a varying range of homes. So one section, you're gonna have a larger, more state lot. And another area, you might see a smaller one level ranch where the values would be below 300. So we can see values get up to the 800s here, depending on the house. And we see them go below three. So really, there's something for a lot of price points in here and it makes the neighborhood quite popular. You've got a swim tennis, you, so you've got tennis courts, access to a swimming pool. And as you look across that golf hole, that would be some of the more smaller units where you've got townhomes and things like that to get into the area at a lower price point. Um, we're driving by the ninth tee and on the other side, which you cannot see is the eighth green. But you can sort of get a feel for the, uh, what you see over there smaller size, your price point's gonna be much lower. But as we continue down the street, you're gonna see the homes become more yards bigger, brick homes, gonna be a lot more spacious. You're gonna run into square footages over 3,000. And you know, depending on the finishes of the home, we're kind of seeing the price points in Jennings Mill are probably about 155 to 160 per square foot at the top end right now. I know we recently sold a home on Merriweather Drive that we'll drive by that appraised for 585 which brought it to right about 159 per square feet. Um, now that was a great home with a lot of space on one level. With Jennings Mills since you have varying ages of homes you might have one that's recently updated sort of a 2020 kitchen and bathroom and that's probably going to bring a higher appraisal value than one that has not been updated in 20 and 30 years. So this neighborhood has always been desirable, but we're here in February 2020, and I really think over the last year, I've never seen this subdivision be quite so popular. 
Couple of reasons. One, Jennings Mill is right on the Clark County line. So you have a Watkinsville address, access to the Oconee County Schools, but you um, are really close to the Athens Clark line. So you can be in a lot of areas of town, downtown, shopping in Athens that people really enjoy to be able to have the benefits of the school system, the golf course. And they're, they're not uh, very far from parts of Athens where we see some of the other neighborhoods. Now, as you can see, the homes have gotten a little bit bigger here. I'd love to turn down another street, but I do worry um, a little bit about the sun glare, but we'll just deal with it. So we're turning into a little area of Jenny's Mill called Miller's Lake. And there you go, Miller's Lake. And sometimes it's funny, we what uh, what really is a pond, we, we refer to as a lake, but that's all right. So, you know, very popular for several reasons. We've seen a lot of young families try to get in here. School system, size of the yard, size of the homes. Um, a lot of folks have been here a good bit of time, 20 years. And quite frankly, one of the reasons we don't see a lot of sellers right now is they sort of worry, where are they going to go? And that's a problem we see in Athens uh, all over the place right now is to um, have a seller that is would be a seller. They like the price they would get, but they have concerns about where they're going to relocate to. Our market's sort of tight here in 2020, and hopefully over the next couple of months, we'll see it loosen up a little bit. We'll start to see uh, more homes come on the market in March and April, and that'll provide some flexibility for these sellers to be able to make a move. But um, this is definitely an area that I would suggest anyone checking out that is looking for single family homes in the Athens or Watkinsville area. So it's Jennings Mill Country Club and Jennings Mill Subdivision located in Oconee County, just over the Clark County line.